you get up in the morning, you'd hear the whistling, and you'd have, you'd have it. And then you'd always know the lads are up, and then you hear the voices, yeah, going down the canal. Hey! Go, put me in the paper, I'm back with it. Poor boys' playground, you know. That was our adventure park. That's where we enjoyed ourselves. And that's where we grew up and we became men. You'd have old prams, bikes, rats. See, I'm not talking about like a yeah, small everyday rat, I'm talking about big sewerage rats. But well, it didn't scare us. We never got sick from swimming in the canal, that's one dead cert. Wherever the height was, and you could get a clear run at the water, no matter what it was, you come off it. We have all the youngsters queuing up, you know, my turn, my turn. But they got really brave when the girls were around, because, you know, they didn't want to be seen to be cowards. But you wait for some fool to throw you first. So he, if he come up out of the water, well, then you knew it was okay. about that period. Things might be going well at home, like there might be much in the way of food, or the, the father might have gone to work on the docks or something like that, but you didn't worry about that. Once you had the canal, once you had your swim, and once you had your friends, you know, you were always going to be okay. many a dream held on that canal bank, you know, because people will be planning their lives, you know, what they're going to do, and the, we're going to travel the world together, we're going to do this and we're going to do that. You're going to be something. But we never thought our friendships would ever come to an end. It's something you always take with you, you know, is the happy days on the canal, like, you know. To us, they were the greater days of our life.